Hello everybody and welcome back to the darkest dungeon. We are here again with the cursed estate and we are going to go to the Shriekling's nest. This isn't the full on Shrieker, it's just the Shriekling so it shouldn't be too bad. I've got a team put together here, we're just going to make sure that everyone's skilled up, not the Abbey. I'm going to make sure that everyone's skilled up and, and ready to go out. Uh, and essentially, we've killed all the bosses now. We are ready to go into the darkest dungeon. We'll, of course, be making sure that we... Um, I think we've got everything done there. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, of course, be making sure that we go ahead and get as many people leveled up as possible. There's specifically a few people that I really want to get leveled up before we do go ahead. Um, and fight one of the darkest dungeons and I'm really looking for you guys for team and party suggestions as well as trinkets everything because I'm gonna need as much help as I can possibly get from you people on this um on this one we really really do need um a lot and a lot of help to try and make sure that this uh comes together because the darkest dungeon it's no joke we are gonna have some trouble in there a hundred percent we are gonna have some trouble in there we really want to make sure we are as prepared as we can possibly be but yeah i've got my got together a team here which i think is decent enough and as well uh actually has some nice bonuses and as well just needs leveling up mainly fragment coming out fragment on already has plus 25 percent base damage versus birds which is really nice we're going to bring him out with a bit of pro bit of accuracy as well as the plus 25 percent extra damage against birds for 50 percent total increased damage against birds and a good chance to crit too should be very very powerful and then urku's coming up the back line with the accuracy and damage plus 30 percent damage for huge hits and making sure he's trying trying to hit i've checked the bed can bleed pretty easily as well as being stunned so we have like these stun skills here um we have uh, a stun kill on mary as well in um in this skill that we can swap to uh but probably we're gonna go for like the phantom whale we got her set up with full-on protection 45 and i think this should be good to go uh i don't know how how difficult this fight is it says that there's a chance that we come across a um a collector, but I, I think this is just like a one room mission. We might end up being uh, doing two today uh, because we, we might end up getting through this one relatively quickly. But let's grab our provisions. Um, you cannot retreat from this quest. Are you sh still are you sure you still want to embark? Still embark, yes. We do not want to retreat from this quest. Uh, I don't exactly know what we need in terms of these things. So let's bring like four of all of these. I don't think we need a lot of these, to be honest. I'm not going to lie, but we'll we'll bring them anyways and jump in and see how this goes it's hidden within the wield okay so this might be an actual mission where we have to make our way through the wield eon's going to be our main healer as well he's up in the front line with his nice healing abilities and the the last light all that good stuff the syringe everything he needs to uh to sort of push forward and make sure that uh he can keep the team alive as well as just eking out a little bit of damage here and there if that ends up being something but while waiting here we do have one diary entry from iss guy again and this is for isaac i've been researching this curse for so long now that i'm starting to worry that i might have some sort of variant myself but i don't crave blood yet i must calm myself down i can't tell um but by p i can't I can't tell uh, by people telling me that everything will be fine if my hands are shaking this violently. However, if I've made a very big discovery, there seems to be some sort of mother curse. If it's eliminated, the curse should be treatable and even cured. However, I believe that even if we do that, the physical changes will stay as is. But even so, this will make the curse easier to deal with in large quantities Killing the person that was infected first should kill the curse. I don't want to even imagine how horrifying that person must be. My god, love that. And let's move on. So yeah, it looks like we do have a small actual quest here. I'm, I wasn't expecting this, but I think this group is more than uh, more than prepared for this. We should be absolutely fine here. I'm glad we brought out pr enough provisions for this now. Because I didn't actually expect this. The path is clear. Um, okay, so it looks like it is literally just these four rooms. I thought it was going to be kind of like the courtyard where it would expand and new rooms would appear. But it seems to just be a really small little way. And I'm assuming what will happen is the Shrieker will be one way and another way will be something even more horrifying. Uh, some sort of trap. And then another way will probably be treasure. Uh, that's what I'd imagine. You never know the... As the light gains purchase. Spirits are lifted, we brought shovels. And purpose is made clear. But yeah, I don't know if this group will end up leveling up from this, but let's hope. 
And here it is. Here's the nest already. Okay, this is just the nest. Okay, there you go. There you go. Right, so to start with, let's just go... Um, summon Shrieking Attack gets stronger even... Uh, wait, so Summon Shrieking Attacks get stronger effect as the nest HP grows lower. Okay, so maybe we don't want to attack the nest first. We'll do that, though. Oh, that doesn't actually count as a bird, so maybe we shouldn't attack that with her. Uh, let's get our damage buff going. Give us d damage reflection here. Um, finish you off. Okay, no bodies, which is good. So, yeah, I think I think we are going to have to uh, take out the birds with, um, with Fragment here. Guard is interesting. Yeah, that's insane damage. That's really, really good going there. And uh, we get plus repose damage as well there too, which is really nice. Set that up on you as well. More damage reflection across the board is good. We don't need healing yet, so let's just keep going on these guys. That's actually good, pushing the nest up. Letting you do some damage. Good stuff. Call the murderer again. It's okay, we can deal with this. Protect the nest. Interesting. Not quite a kill there, but a very, very good attack. Nonetheless, we're just going to set up damage reflection on everyone. No one's really getting damaged yet, but damage reflection is still nice nonetheless. Yeah, there you go. You took two damage for that. Continue Got you. Destroy them. A nice hit on the nest there. And this is an interesting fight. This isn't something I was expecting. This might even be modded, to be honest. Uh, but I, I quite like this. This is a fight that I wasn't expecting, but... Yeah. Oh, unfortunate dodge there. Um... Yeah, we're going to keep going with damage reflection. 150% on you. Nice one. Pummeling. Take out whatever's guarding you. Wing slam. Would it be maybe good to put fragment up front and be able to hit everyone? Because that would do bad damage to the whole fleet, but it's okay. Finishes you off. This is going to be kind of kind of a difficult fight. It's going to go on for a little while, I'd say. But I think I think this group is more than capable, to be honest. I really do. We just keep getting that damage reflection going. Not that we're taking a lot of damage at the minute, but anything's good. Um, we attack you, so that hits you good. But basically, we want Urku to get in the big damage on the nest itself. And there's that again. Awesome. And there you go. Yeah, 29 on it there. Fantastic damage. You're going to keep calling these in, but we're actually dealing with them incredibly quickly at the moment. And we haven't really even needed that healing. We probably should have brought Stressling. I don't know why you passed turn there. That's kind of strange, but take you out. I think that gets rid of the guard. Oh, was that the wrong one? Might have been the wrong one. No, it wasn't. Good. Um, get some more of that on you. Yeah, we get that 10% chance to target a random enemy, but we really don't care about that. Okay, gets 47 on the nest. Very, very nice. Exactly what we're looking for. I don't know if there's going to be more nests around here. That's something I haven't really considered, but I'm sure is the case in some regard. Finish you off. Yeah, bringing a fragment here was super, super good. I'm, I'm loving this damage reflection as well. It's not being super potent, but it's just a nice little help. A nice little help. Oh, we did get tinnitus there, unfortunately. And we got some horror inflicted too. But we brought Loudenum for that exact reason. And there it is. Urku with 58 crit. And there you go. And that's it, yeah, that, that was that was very, very quick. Let's return to the Hamlet, see what sort of XP we got for that. And see if we're ready to move on. Um, we got two trinkets back. Our focus ring and our silver syringe. Finally received those again. Been a while since we lost those. Uh, oh, we got um, we got the Corvid's anxiety. Not Corvid's, but Corvid's. Uh, plus five, dodge, pair, 25 stress. Pretty decent. Regenerative is kind of nice. Healer's gift is also kind of decent. That's kind of good. We did get the common cold here. All in all, that's pretty decent. We didn't gain too much XP with these guys. Um, 
Based on their stress level, I kind of want to go out with them again. <laughs> I kind of want to take this group out on a bit of a bit of an adventure and see what they can do. Um, maybe swap out Fragment and then take the other guys out. But our stress levels are a little bit high now, so maybe not the best idea. Let's uh, untrink it, everyone, and we'll see about where to go next. Let's have a little look. See, um, we want to be going on at least level four missions, preferably level five. Uh, so let's check for a. Is there a medium level five? We want a medium level five. There's a medium level five in the wield um, with the banner bearer. We do have the collector here as well. Let's let's put together a little team for this then, shall we? And see how this goes. Um, that was a very good team for that little quest there, but of course, very, very short. So let's uh, go down and grab some of our level fives and take take to uh, jumping back in there again. I think we'll bring out Dia, uh, Dia as our uh, main puncher, as our main attacker. Uh, Zwayne I want to bring out more as well. Zwayne hasn't really had the chance to uh, to go out too much recently. So, spear thrust. Um, staggering shot's really nice. Nail bomb's really good. And... Staggering and nail bomb. Uh, that would increase... Our skill damage. Although these don't really do skill damage. Um, yeah, let's go with that as well. That, that seems good to me. Does does Dai have a chase in move? He, he does, doesn't he? Dash in. Um, yeah, I think we'll I think we'll go with Dash in and put him in the back line and bring him up front. Um, Burn, you go there. Uh, Ronaldius, we kind of do want to bring along. Because uh, we need to level you up. But I don't know where you'd fit in here. I'm not sure where exactly you'd fit in. Because you're going to be attacking from the front. Maybe we could set you up as like full on repost or something. With the princess guard. We could always go with the lightning pill. I mean we do have quite a few moves here that move people around. It's possible that we could um, that we could build towards a bit of a... A mobile, a mobile group here. Visceral attack. Bleed versus stunned and 300% damage versus stunned. Hmm, okay. So you have that this damage against stunned as well. Might want some stun heavy build going on here. Herbert, you might be able to fill that role with the stun there, you know. Although I will say that he's much more frontline than anyone else. We haven't brought out... Do you know what? I'm going to refactor this this build a little bit. I'm going to take off Dai, I think. Or um, Oswain. I'm not sure which one. Let's... Let's take off... Let's take off Dai. And let's go with Jonathan Baker. Because we really haven't messed with Jonathan in a long time. And I feel like he has a lot to offer. Um, then we could maybe go with the Baron. We haven't brought out the Baron yet, and the Baron could be pretty interesting. Let's have a little look-see. He needs to be very up close and personal for a lot of his attacks, unfortunately, so maybe he's not the best option. We could bring out Red again. Red hasn't been out in a really long time. Um, let's have a little look-see what we want to do with skills here. So, go with hands off for that bleed. Um, that would be yet more bleed. Buff party with less stress. That's kind of good. Um, inspires one extra turn. Minus 40% damage, minus 11 dodge. Kind of interesting. A little bit less healing and stress healing, but nonetheless pretty good. Flashing the goods is going to do extra stress healing received, extra crit, extra speed. Extra accuracy versus spiders and pheromone effects party until end of battle. That has to be used right up front there. Uh, and then on the prowl. Uh, what's one of these? That that one's back one. That sets up damage versus marked stealth and buff self for dodge and stuff. I don't really know if that's super necessary. I'll tell you what, we'll go we'll go with them ones. Let's go with them ones and we'll bring you along. There you go, red. And then we need a healer that has some maybe move abilities, possibly. I don't know who would be be the best healer here. I mean, Maria's a good healer, but she can 
have some problems. She doesn't do group healing, I don't believe. Okay, so... You can do... Yeah, let's, let's bring you along. And then you've got... You don't have a move ability, so that's not super useful in that regard. But that's kind of nice, right? We go into the wield with all of this. Um, because Maria, because she's got this heal here. So what we can do is we can set her up. Unfortunately, she does have minus 20% max HP, which is awful. Absolutely awful for her. Um, so we... Basically, we have to make a choice of whether we want her to do less healing across the board or, or whatnot. Because um, we're going to need to give her prop. She, she might die otherwise. So I think we give her... I think we give her prop with the heart, wherever that is. I am completely lost for where the heart is right now. Where's husband's heart? One minute. Should be around here somewhere. There it is. Husband's heart. And then I think we go with last light. And I know this means that we don't have a silver syringe, which means we don't have a higher healing. But we need that pro on her to make sure um, that we're actually getting what we need. Uh, and honestly, our healing is, is pretty good anyways. Um, our healing's pretty strong either way. So I think we should be fine on that regard. Um, and then... So that's you set up. Red, what do we, what do we actually want on red? I think we want... That is melee. You can do your job from both places, can't you? I think maybe with red, we take off... Um, we take off the Heart of Gold and we put on On the Prowl as a movement skill. And we give her something that's going to allow us to do a bit more bleed damage. So I think with you, let's go... Where the hell is it? One of the heads. There you go. The Elizabeth's head. Because that's going to give um, extra uh, melee accuracy as well as on attack bleed. And then... This, by the way, we, wield, wield is bleed, isn't it? I can never remember which area is good for what. I'm pretty sure wield is good for bleed. Um... Extra bleed chance applied. I might I might stick that on um on this dude here. So let's have a look what we can do to increase that uh bleed. So ten percent bleed chance, ten percent crit versus bleeding, extra bleed. Okay, that's that's definitely what we want on you. There's there's another one that does some good bleeding stuff here as well. I can't remember which one it is now, I've gotta be honest. It's very hard remembering what all of our trinkets do. I <laughs> <laughs> it's really easy to, to just, like, lose track of, of what does what. We've got so many things. Okay, so I think this is the one we want on you. So you can take that, because then that'll affect both of these skills. And then, Jonathan, you want... You want that one that I was just hovering over, which I can no longer remember which one it was now. You want that one, definitely. And I think you want that head as well, wherever that was. Yeah, so we get massive chance to bleed, as well as extra crit versus bleeding and extra bleed amount applied. That should that should lead to a huge buff to his bleed damage there, um, and allow us to hit quite a lot. And reclaim really isn't super useful for us. We could do stress healing there, or we could go with like um, exsanguinate. I don't know which is better. Exanguinate seems like it's strong. But I think I think uh, Redeem is kind of better. So let, let's just stick with that for now. And then Zwayne. What do we what do we put on Zwayne? I think Zwayne really we want to be upping his damage as much as possible. So I think we go with We could go with Focus Ring for that extra accuracy and crit. But I think we go with I think we go with um the, the legendary bracer there. Lowers his speed partially. And what's the other thing that increases damage and accurate uh, damage and crit? I swear there's one that increases damage and crit. Th this is why I often do a lot of this before I start the episode. Because it can be it can be quite difficult to get all this right and pick all the right things. 
We could just go with Proc. He doesn't have a lot of HP. Let's let's go with Proc because he doesn't have tons of HP. Yeah, let's just go with that. I think that's a, a decent enough setup. And let's jump on into the wield here and see what we can do. Uh, hopefully this uh, ends up ends up pulling through as quite a good team. Oh, one thing we should do definitely before taking this team out, something that I often forget to do, is quickly go and uh, check all these guys' skills and levels. I, I, I'm very, very bad at doing this. Uh, so that, 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 Jonathan, that, 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 Red, you're full up, you're full up. So we did actually need to level up two people there, so glad we remembered. And then embark, make sure we're selected on the right mission. That's the one. And let's go ahead, buy our food. Let's just buy it all up. We've got plenty of money to go with. And I think this should be a pretty decent team. I think this should be a pretty interesting one. A bit of bleed, a bit of, uh, bit of healing across the board there. And yeah, one moment. Okay, we are ready to go. I am, I'm really happy with this, this team, by the way. This is a team of people that are unlikely, the unusual suspects, so to say. Of course, Red not been out in a long time. She's been uh, taking care of the uh, of the team in in a less savoury way. Did you, Red? Red, did you have to? I mean, luckily you didn't get poisoned. But come on now, why is our map so zoomed out? Holy hell! Uh, right, trap disarm. We should have pretty good trap disarm. Yeah, Zwayne has got it. Zwayne's got it. He knows what he's doing. I must push forward. But yeah, this is just some people that we haven't really had the chance to really focus on in a little while. And this is why I wanted to level people up before we go into the Darkest Dungeon. Because I want everyone to uh, to to get a, get a chance to shine. Because they, they really haven't. Especially Jonathan Baker, a character that I, I absolutely love. But he really hasn't. And Maria as well. Really haven't had the time to to show off their skills. And show off that they've, they've got value. Uh, we are doing Explore 90% of rooms here. So we are going to have to unfortunately go both ways here. Which is a pain because this is like a proper offshoot. Um, first battle here. Could be the collector. It's not. It is some blood suckers. Uh, not terrible for us, but not great either. Stress is something I'm very worried about here, but we shall see. It's why I actually brought along red with that skill that can help us with our uh, help us with our amount of stress that we're taking in. So. I think this is a free action. Yeah, it is. Free action for a small amount of healing. So we go with the free action there. Heals us back to full. And then I think we just go with this. Give those two the prop. Good stuff. Wait, why did that give 20% prop? Is there some weirdness about... I bet I, I bet it's stacked, because you only got 10%. I bet it's stacked with the uh, the butterfly. We got 20% there. That's really good to know, by the way. Okay, so let's just go in for the kills here. Of course, these guys, they're going to bleed. And that's a big amount of bleed already. You, can you two bleed? Yes, you can. Oh, 8 over 3 and 8 over 2. This is going to be just insane. This is going to be so good. I love Jonathan's, uh, like, whole persona and everything as well. Both his backstory and his in-game sort of built-in persona. Like, look look at his stance there. Brilliant. Swain's been hit, but he's coming back with a vengeance for a crit of 38. Well done. And... Get both of you. 13 over 2. Yeah, so if we do that, and then we do that, yeah, you're up to 40%. There's some weird bug with the uh, butterfly. Very good to know. 22 damage, there you go. You're dead. Oh, this is... I, I absolutely love stacking bleed and stuff with... Uh, it just... It leads to such insane destruction. This is how life is taken. It leads to such insane, insane destruction. It's so good. Uh, I think they said as well in D in Dark Dungeon 2 that's something they're going to address. I think uh, enemies have like um, have death resist now, death blow resist, which is kind of interesting. Okay, we've got a few cicadas here um, and a few of these exoplasms shouldn't be too bad. There's one dead already. We always want to go with the butterfly. I think you've already got some props, we'll give it to myself. Even though we only get three of them and their the healing is pretty nice. 
clearing stun is really good. But honestly, just to get the double prot here, 20% straight off the bat, really good to get that early. Um... Hit you. Nice bleed. You're almost dead. Hit you two for more bleed. Eight over three on one on just one turn is absurd. That's such good damage. And there you go. I always forget that red gets that repost as well. Red, you, you absolute beast. This is thorough destruction. This is this is thorough destruction. Hit you. 17 over 3. What are you going to do? Probably should have hit the back line, actually, thinking about that. It's okay. Unfortunate miss there, but you're dead to bleed anyways. Salamander. That's kind of a cool-looking trinket. Um, Unlock that. Oh, we got a Jude Tapestry. Nice. Right, let's keep pushing forward. This is this this one might take a little while actually because we've got to do a bit of backtracking here. A victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. Malformed with misintent indeed. Don't really care about that. I'm gonna go all the way down here because it means we don't have to go as far down the other path. The way is lit. A bit of hunger. We didn't bring a ton of food with us here. I mean, we brought all we could, but it's still not a lot, so we might run out. We don't. We don't really need to camp on this fight either, so we should be okay for that. Oh, we did get a satire or whatever you want to call them. Satire. These guys can be really difficult, so we gotta take him out as soon as possible. Go for one of them straight away. Look at that. Beautiful. Seven over two. Seven over three. Butterfly there. Oh, no. It gives 20% because it already gives a base 10%. I didn't realize. That's actually a really nice little synergy there. I did not realize. You've got 8 over 3. you got 15 over 3. Master it's going to hit really hard. Nice one on a crit as well. Oh, really? 2 HP off. Did you have to, sir? We are marked, but that shouldn't matter. Rend the mark. That's going to hurt a little bit. But only a little bit, to be honest. The lunge. We should be able to re uh, redeem here, though, so that's okay. Ah, oh, unfortunate miss there, Red. Finish you off. As the enemy there you go. <laughs> Amazing. You're dead. Unforeseen. The harmless swipe. Not so harmless, but you did miss. Actually, that's kind of harmless. I'll take it back. That's pretty harmless. Ah, oh, let's win. Come on now. Need these big hits. Get that bleed on you. 11 over 2. And that's going to give you 9 over 3. Beautiful. Great stuff here. And Jonathan's just taking every single hit possible. Which is absolutely no problem at all for us. You're dead. 15, my god. Get ready to bleed, dude. Get ready to bleed. A faint hope. Beautiful. This is working out really well. This is working out really, really well. Oh, do you know what I should have done before taking these guys out? I should have set some people up to manage our clerks. Something that I need to get into the habit of doing and really need to do over the next few episodes. Probably the next four or five before we go into the darkest dungeon. Don't know why I didn't... Uh, Thingy there. Um, slow draw. That was sad. Um, but yeah, one of the things that I really need to do and make sure that I'm doing is um, adding and removing quirks because, uh, sorry, locking in and removing quirks. It's something that I haven't really done um, at all in this series, to be honest. And it's, it's definitely a missed opportunity. And while I've got so much money, 
especially the people that we know we're going to bring into the darkest dungeon. This is why I need your guys' help on locking in exactly who we're going to bring, because I need to know who to lock in quirks with and who to remove quirks for and get everyone to a position in which they're not going to be attacking their teammates. They're not going to be <coughs> opening things they shouldn't, taking unnecessary stresses, things like that. We just really need to reduce all that as much as we possibly can. <clears throat> Anyways, keep pushing forward here. I will open this. We've got plenty of shovels. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. No, I'm gonna not going to take that. Okay. Back down we go. We're actually more than halfway through this already, I think, after this, after this room coming up. Making good progress. And this team is proving to be in... Just insanely powerful. It's the trinkets. Trinkets that buff up bleed are just so good. I mean, Red can put out an insane amount of bleed and gets those crits. And has that great bleed chance. And then Jonathan just has absurd bleed amount. Like, he is he is buff he's almost doubling the amount of bleed that he applies to an enemy. I think he's buffing it by like 60% or something. It's that that's a hell of a difference. That is like one full turn, maybe even two full turns of difference in, in like, getting a kill. This is not. Ooh, we are only on 12 food now. I'm really hoping we don't come across too many hallway battles here, because they could slow us down quite drastically. Went across a few empty rooms here and there. Doing okay, though. A bit more food here, possibly. Yeah, a tiny bit more, but... Trinkets and bottles. Quite nice. I'm actually going to leave that Paid for or not. Blood. Bad humors. Bad humors is, yeah, minus 20% max HP. Very bad. Maximum HP uh, reductions are terrible. But we do have a pro on this guy, so we don't need to worry about it too much. Multiple empty rooms here. There's our next hunger check. Probably shouldn't have any more hunger checks. In fact, this might be the last room that we're required to do. Maybe one more after this. Really? we, we This was very, very easy in terms of our battles. We, we only fought a few things here. Um, use a key to get in there. I might even just clear the rest of it just because. Some reward for a task well performed. We don't get any additional XP for it, but... Yeah, let's, uh, we got scouting there. Let's see what we get on this curio here. Might as well use the shovel. Yeah, see, we got a bit of extra money there. Only one more room, let's do it. It does have a battle. It could be the collector, but honestly, no, it's not. I'm going to say, I think we're ready for it nonetheless. That is a good start. A huge bleed on all of them. Consume. Consume and devour. Oh my god. He just healed quite a lot. Maria's definitely a better healer than I gave her credit for initially. We can do a lot with Maria. You're dead. Good stuff, and I think basically this is it. We did, we did a really good job there. Yep, look at that, beautiful. And yeah, what a what a uh, what a good adventure for these guys. A short one, but a successful one nonetheless. You know, I'm just gonna end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This one was really good. Um, although a short, we got a lot done, and we managed to take a few people out that we hadn't had the chance to in a little while. And everyone made it to level six as well, even better. Um, we will quickly put some people in the air. Uh, in for, for some healing ups. Once so well regarded. Now Let's uh, quickly remove our trinkets. Up. And yeah, I think... Was it you? Bad humours. Yeah, we definitely want to get rid of bad humours. And Maria, we wanted to get rid of... Was it Maria? Might not have been Maria. Was it Red? Someone had like minus 10 maximum HP. Either way, we'll leave that for now and we'll come back and you guys can give me some tips about who I should be removing and adding quirks to. Hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless and I'll see you guys in the next one.